Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbylad.com with our final case of 2018 Panini Certified Football. This was a we had a great run with this stuff. So thanks everyone for getting into the action right here on the 21st Tuesday. Certified number 10, EA with the last spot mojo. There's everyone else. Big thanks to everyone for getting into the action. Appreciate it, and good luck. Now, to kind of commemorate the last case of this, we're also giving away $40 of break credit at the end of the break. So I'll randomize everyone's names, and someone will get 40 bucks of break credit, maybe to use on the new releases tomorrow that you can pre-order now on jazbeeshobbyline.com. So go to the website, check it out. Kind of an awkward sort of box. I need a bigger break table. I need a bigger boat. All right. So we've got 4, 8, 12 right there to make the case, inner case technically. Four autographs and memorabilia cards per box on average. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Oh, got it. And a piece of tape stuck to me. All right, who's here for this break? And what are you what are you looking for? I know Kevin Lesser is here with the Bears. He's looking for a Roquan Smith, a one of one Roquan Smith, to be specific. Well, I know EA is here. He got the Cardinals. I think he's got a. You don't have any. Oh, that's the only team you got. Oh, okay. Usually I have more. Steve Freeze with a few teams here. He's got Broncos, Lions. I just saw his name come across the chat. TJ TJ is here. He's got the Chiefs in this one. Stephen K, of course, picked up the second-to-last spot team, last spot mojo team. That was uh, Bills. So I know he's here, too. Brian, who do you have? Oh, I think you have the, t you have the Titans, right? And Noah's here with the Eagles. Excellent. We've got a good crew here. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Tuesday, folks. Appreciate you joining the breaks. We've got more that we can do tonight on jazbeeshobbyland.com. But if you don't want to do anything tonight, we've got plenty of new releases tomorrow, so save your pennies for that. There's Aaron Rodgers to 499, which we'll set right here. We'll top load or we'll sleeve and top load those at the end of the break. I'm going to start off with certified potential, 57 out of 99, Troy Fumagalli. And that'll be a start for Steve and his Broncos. Does he have certified potential? Maybe. There's Fred Warner, right? Warner. And for the Colts, we have Neam Hines, 187 out of 249. Two color patch and autograph. Freshman fabric going to David Duffy and the Colts. Ellie's here too. She wants. Uh, she has Redskins, Buccaneers. She has both. Uh, no, TJ, we have not seen a shield in this. This is a good point. Are we due? That usually means we're due for a shield. Maybe a little last case mojo. There's Christian McCaffrey out of 99. I think we've have we, we we must have seen like a laundry tag, right? I think we saw a laundry tag. But I don't see but definitely not a shield. I would have remembered a shield. Carlton Davis to 499. And DJ Moore, new generation relic 
out of 399 for the Panthers. That'll be for Phillip. Oh, Kevin Lesser's like, that's the last case mojo will yield that one of one shield of Smith. Does he have a shield in this? <laughs> Make sure we check the checklist. Colton Miller, protect this guy. I think he's going to play on the left. They're moving Donald Penn to the other side. Something like that. Next box from up here. Good luck. He didn't throw. He didn't throw a pick there, Gabe. What are you talking about? That was a, that was a clean throw. That was de definitely a touchdown. Definitely a touchdown. All right. Second box of our last case of certified football. Pick your team 10. Thanks, everyone, for filling this one up. That's all there. Put that right there. Dak Prescott to 50. And I saw Ito Smith in action. It's 181 out of 199. Judge Ito Smith, three color patch. An autograph for Will Driggers and the Falcons. Looked all right. There's Rashad Penny, who I just learned today went to high school just a little bit south of here in Norwalk. Still got to sign your cards, Rashad. Still got to sign them. It's AJ Green. Derek Carr with a touchdown. And there's Deshaun Watson. Nice three-color patch. 34 out of 50. Out of 50? Who who was it? Was it Johnny or... Oh, why am I blanking on this? Someone was, was debating last week that Deshaun Watson... That Deshaun Watson will throw 50 touchdowns this season. Texans. Robert Rohr with that one. 50 touchdowns. Is that possible, ladies and gentlemen? Can you see that happening? I can see it happening. There's Mo Hurst. It's definitely possible. He's got the skills. He's got He's got the skills. He's got um whatchamacallit? DeAndre Hopkins there. So it's possible. But I don't think it's very probable. There's Mason Rudolph, rookie roll call. 29 out of 99. Roll call. Scott with the Steelers. With the rookie roll call, Mason Rudolph. I said that was crazy talk, but I mean, there's only what two quarterbacks in history. We looked it up during the during a break. There was only two quarterbacks in history that have that have uh, gotten 50 touchdowns, and that was Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. A couple of people got close, high 40s. I think another time someone got close was Peyton Manning. 50 is a lot, though. That is a lot. Um, you got to have a guy. 
you gotta have a guy. But he see he has the weapons though. I mean, Brady when Brady did it, he had um he had Randy Moss that year. And Randy Moss caught 23 touchdowns. Because in my head, I was like, calculate that out. Yeah, Tice is like, that's a, that's over a three-a-game average. Which would be tough. I mean, you got a... You had Brady and Moss that year in fantasy. That's, that's a good connection there. 23 times like you got to have a receiver that would get at least 20 plus touchdowns and then you got to have a few other guys you know a couple other guys with double digit touchdowns like three other guys with double digit touchdowns and, and but you're playing like jacksonville twice a year right home and away i don't know I, initially i thought it was crazy but then you know I think he started to kind of twist my ear a little bit. I was like, maybe it could be possible. Kevin Lesser says, no way. <laughs> EA is like, were they drunk? There's Duke Dawson for the Patriots. Speaking of the Patriots, out of 25. Nice one for the Pats. Karen and her Patriots. And there's Sam Darnold. Out of 299 for the Jets. That'll be for Michael Brinson. But that Patriots team, I think we kind of looked up the game logs too. Now, some some other other people here may may remember this a little bit more clearly than I do, but or they can look it up. There he is, right here. But he threw twenty three touchdowns to Randy Moss. Peyton Manning though actually kind of spread it around. I don't think there was a. I, I think there were like five or six guys that had double digit touchdowns that all had like ten to fifteen touchdowns. Like no one had more than like fifteen or something. <laughs> Which was kind of, which I thought was kind of crazy too. To spread it around like that. Oh, speaking of Randy Moss, there he is right there. And Tom Brady. Different uniforms, but you know they were they were. Yeah, Steve Freeze, like yeah, the ball was really spread. Yeah, spread really well that year. Absolutely. So I thought that was crazy too. It's Fifty touchdowns is a lot. I think it depends on – it's got to depend on how you start, right? There's Royce Freeman relic. Like if you go through like half the season and you're like, ooh, I could get the record, you feel like the maybe the maybe the offense, maybe the coaches kind of start angling it towards that maybe in the last few games of the season or something like that. But I can't imagine, you know, the coaches saying, hey, we're going to game plan for 50 touchdown passes this season. You don't want to force someone to do that. Oh, is this poor Darius Geis? Poor Darius Geis, 23 out of 75. That goes to Ellie and the Redskins. Ellie, this is one to hold on to, I feel like. So many Redskins fans are really high on this guy. And then that one of those knees there. But if you hold on to it to like around this time next year, Might end up being a big deal. Yeah, he did have a good cast. I mean, it, you know, the, the the Texans looked like they were unstoppable. Texans looked like looked like they were unstoppable for a, a few games, right? At least. I mean. How many touchdowns did, did Deshaun Watson have in a in a very limited amount of time? Like a lot. I don't know how sustainable that was, but I don't know if he would have done it the entire season. Yeah, Manning almost did it twice. I think the fifty when he when he crested fifty, 
I think he did it in um he did that one in in uh what call it in Denver. But then when when he was with the Colts, I think he got to like forty eight. Very close. Yeah, there you go. EA's got the numbers there. 55, which is the which is the record, the most TDs in a season. Most passing touchdowns by a quarterback in a season. 55 is the most with Denver. And then he's also third on that list with 49 as a Colt. And 50 is Tom Brady. There's Darren Woodson to 499. There's Corey Coleman, fabric of the game. I don't think the not the fabric of the Browns game anymore. That goes to Rick T with the Cleveland Browns. There's Melvin Gordon. And Kalen Balage, nice patch. Out of four ninety nine, freshman fire. See, they got they certify as nice. They give you some nice patches for out of four ninety nine. That goes to Derek with the Dolphins. Minka Fitzpatrick. And Derek Henry to ninety nine. We've got gold team, Ezekiel Elliott at a 99. Alvin Kamara to 499. Should have one more hit, I think, right? One or two. Rookie roll call, Nick Chubb. Roll call. 21 out of 25 for Rick T and the Browns. Nice. Yeah, guys should be back. He's young enough. He can bounce back, get to where he needs to be. There's Carry on Johnson to 299 for the Lions. That'll be for Steve Freeze and the Lions. And Aaron Rodgers still looking for that big extension. Um, yeah, I'm sure a lot went to Marvin Harrison when he had 49 touchdowns, Tice. That's for sure. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the uh, the Texans depth chart, at least what ESPN has right now. And so there's Deshaun. He's got to get he's got to get a lot of touchdowns to DeAndre Hopkins. He's got to get at least twenty plus. Then you got to get the tight ends in on the mix. You know, so you got to hope that some some combination of you know of Jordan Thomas, Jordan Akins, and Ryan Griffin somehow pick up another like 10 to 15 touchdowns. You got to get like Braxton Miller and Kike Kuti to, to haul in maybe double digit touchdowns. You got to have Will Fuller have a breakout season and snag like 12 to 15 touchdowns. Something like that. You got to get the running backs out there. You know, get a handful of touchdowns. Probably, probably one of those running backs. Has to get double-digit touchdowns in order for that to happen. It's it's a lot. I, c I think DeAndre Hopkins will get his. I could see him. If, if someone said, hey, DeAndre Hopkins, 20 touchdowns, I'll be like, all right, okay. Probably not, but okay. Like, I like DeAndre Hopkins. I could see that. But it's tough. There's Green Deonta Foreman. Speaking of the Texans, what is there's mirror signatures Deonta Foreman. Our first train whistle of the day, our first train whistle of the week. Robert Rohr with the Texans. Deonta Foreman has to get like five to seven touchdowns. <laughs> All aboard the Big Hit Express! Whoop whoop! 
There you go, Robert. Nice hit. Justin, Re Justin Reed. What? What position? You know, Justin Reed has to keep the offense off the the other uh, opposing offense off the field, right? To keep the Texan offense on the field to get fifty. Out of four ninety nine, Deshaun Hamilton for Steve Freeze. Now, Steve was asking earlier, what's the over under on touches for Adrian Peterson's season? Like four forty. John Oliver is saying. Jeremy, uh, John Oliver is saying AD is a terrible fit for the Redskins. And there's Deshaun Watson. He's that arm's gonna throw a lot, a lot, gotta throw a lot to this guy. He's got to get at least eight to nine touchdowns. John Okere, what's going on? Yeah, that Deshaun Hamilton, I don't think he's a catch. Sorry. And look at that Mariota. That's out of 25. 13 out of 25 on that one. That's his that's his number, right? That's got to be the number like on a on the shoulder maybe. That's pretty cool. Brian with the Titans. Great looking patch there. That's a nice fabric of the game. Yeah, number on the shoulder, right? It's Quan Alexander. Oh, is it a letter, maybe? It looks like a number to me. I don't know. Does it look like a R, perhaps? Or is that his eight? He's eight, right? <laughs> I think he's eight. What do you guys think? EA thinks, thinks that's his number. I think it's his number two. Should we just pop the card open, see what the see what's underneath it, the rest of the number? Like I said, certi certified. This is something I have to remind myself next year, when 2019 certified comes around, or whenever we pick up certified later in the uh, later in the year. Maybe we'll get some additional cases. Who knows? Um, is to let people know, like, hey. There's some great patches here. Like that's an that's out of twenty five. That Mariota like number. Yeah, I think it's number two. Like it's got to be. It's got to be there. It's got to be the patches. They they give you really nice patches for the low numbers. Where the Bills hits. Stephen K. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes left. We're not even halfway through. You want to give up on the bill? You want to sell the bills back to me? And I'll sell it back to the to the crew at a prorated rate. I'd get worried if there was only like this left. <laughs> if there was only this left, I'd be like, yeah. Where are the where are the bills hits? All it takes is one for the bills anyway. There's Sony Michelle out of 25. That's true. Stephen K's like, hey, if I ask, sometimes it pops out. It's a good point. I've made that offer to a number of people. I don't think anyone's t ever taken that offer. 
There's Quentin Nelson, certified potential for the Colts. So then they're because I was like, you can you can let someone else get that big hit for half the cost. You'll get half of your money back, and everyone's like, ah, yeah, no. I'll hold on to it. <laughs> All right. Oh, Matt Appleby lagging behind, saying that's an eight off the shoulder. Double check to make sure you're not lagging behind, Matt. That was about like four or five minutes ago. Quentin Nelson and Dante Pettis. 87 at 39. Everyone should double check, folks, or refresh your uh, YouTube page or your app. Make sure that the dot next to the live button is red or that you're broad or make sure you're watching our stream at 720p. If you're not watching on that, that may not get you get you close to the non-lag point. There's always going to be a little bit of a lag, but you want to try to eliminate as much of that as possible. Ronald Jones, new generation relic. Yeah, Nightbot. You should be dropping those drop dropping those hints and tips. Nightbot Nightbot's probably smoking something and it's legal here. <laughs> They're not supposed to do it on the job, Nightbot. Oh, there, oh, there's Nightbot. Uh, Josh Ro Nightbot's like, I'm here, I'm here. Well, give him the other information, Nightbot. It's all right, Matt. It's all good. Matt found out. He's like, oh man, I was lagging. <laughs> it was either that, Matt, or 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 like, you heard the question, you had to run and do something. You know, and then you're like, well, I had to, I have to weigh in on this. <laughs> I have to weigh in on that. All right, there's Rosen for EA. Ronald Jones is second for the Buccaneers. That's for you, Ellie. And the Niners, that's for Victor Z. All right. Man, Nightbot was lagging behind. There it is. There, thank you, Nightbot. Thank you. Want the best Jaspie's live stream experience on YouTube? Then make sure the dot next to live is red and make sure you're streaming at 720p. There you go. That'll help you not lag behind, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes a refresh helps. If you're like Joe, uh, my, my, my computer my computer can't, can't handle 720p. We'll get a new computer. You gotta have your Jaspies. You're like Joe. My internet, the way I would, my internet sucks. Internet company, blah blah blah. It's like, I was like, well, talk to your internet company. Call up your internet company. Say I gotta stream Jaspies at 720p. I gotta have my Jaspies. That's what you let them know. Call up 1-800 cable company. I gotta have my Jaspies. What can you do for me? Gotta stream in 720. One day we're gonna get up to 1080. If you can't handle 720, you better be able to upgrade your, your gear to be able to handle 1080. All right. Rick, Rick T needs a Barkley Mayfield. He's got the Giants and the Browns in this one. If I find you if I find a Barkley Mayfield hybrid, there's Josh Rosen at a 299 for EA. Uh, Mini Meager is asking, which team do I think will do well this NFL season? The Cleveland Browns. They they will they will improve exponentially from last season. They're gonna win. Like, Carlos Hyde is there too. Is that eight wins? There's Quincy Inunua. One of the best looking autographs, best penmanship in the hobby. He might he might take the cake on that. That'll go to the Jets, Jets, Jets. That'll be for Michael Brinson. The Bears, I would take the over on the Bears. There's Carlos Hyde again. He's like, I'm gonna take him to eight wins. Thanks, Carlos. There's Tremaine Edmonds. There the Bills hits. 45 out of 70. I guess it does work. 45 out of 75. 
for the Bills. That'll be for Stephen K. Kevin Lesser needs Bears, too, by the way. I mean, Kevin, Kevin Lesser and Jeremy Nicolo just became best friends. I can't repeat it, though. It's a family show. But if you're watching live, if you're watching this video on a replay, ladies and gentlemen, you got to watch live for the, the full chat experience. Any guesses on this redemption right here? There's Jack Youngblood. There's Ronald Darby. Oh, it probably is that guy, huh? EA. It probably is Rashad Penny. Ooh, TJ guessing with a Kareem Hunt. That'd be pretty cool. Taunting, you feel like bears are always underrepresented in products? I feel like every fan base says that. Every fan base goes, there's never enough Raiders. Never enough Bears. Shohei Otani? If it's an Otani. It's Rashad Penny. Freshman fabric mirror orange signatures Rashad Penny from Norwalk High School, just south of us here. I should just go down there and be like, listen, can I get Rashad Penny's forwarding address, please? That's for Sam Rail and the Seahawks. And be like, dear Rashad, please sign your cards. I know you have like a dinner table full of like certified hits. I know you're busy with camp. You know, I know you're trying to make the team. Trying to you know you're trying to make this a career. We're proud of you here in Southern California, but sign your cards. Thanks. All right, next box. I think Baker Mayfield hits are live, right? So Jeremy Nicolo saying Browns are going to start one and seven. Hughes going to get fired. Todd Haley will take over midseason, and then they'll finish five and three to go six and ten. Someone screenshot that. If that happens, that'll 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 be sorcery of the highest order. So you should you should put bets on that, Jeremy. I think the 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 Browns over under. The Browns' win total is five and a half, so you should find you should uh, get the five and a half, take the over, and then bet on when Hugh Jackson gets fired. I'm sure you can find a book that'll take that action, and then bet on Haley getting the job. And then I guess I don't know what you would do. Uh, then you just kind of go from there. I like your reasoning. That's what Jeremy Jeremy's saying. That's the only reason Haley went there. He knows it's his most direct route to get a head coaching position. I don't know. Hugh Jackson was a Raider for like half a second. So I kind of have a soft spot in my heart for Hugh Jackson. All right. There's Mike Kosicki for the Miami Dolphins. Derek Dowding with that one. Got us close to us. Got us close to a playoffs. I think he helped us finish eight and eight after many. Two four win seasons, so everyone everyone was all hyped about Hugh Jackson. A little bit of a quarterback whisper. I think that's the year we gave up a million draft picks for Carson Palmer. I think, which was bold. I mean, you know, the Raiders are having a decent season, so they were just like, "Why not win now?" It was a good gamble. You know, I think you're right, Jeremy. I agree with that. That's out of 25, Doug. A lot of 25s and under, I usually sleeve up and top load right away. Um, yeah, Hugh Jackson as a coordinator, I think you're right. It's pretty solid. I don't know if he's if he's quite there with at, for the head coaching job. Some guys just aren't. Head coaching is a different is a different beast. There's Josh Rosen out of 399. You're gonna have a stack of these coming your way, EA. Man, I don't know if like if you think about what a head coach has to do. I feel like that's got to be a really hard job. There's Duke Dawson. 
Certified Potential. Out of 99 for Karen and her Patriots. Patriots look like they're going to be good again, Karen, this year. She's not complaining. And we've got Austin Prohl. Simi Cobbs Jr. And Mason Rudolph. Oh, nice freshman fabric there. Look at that. 110 out of 199. Scott V with the Steelers. Oh, yeah. Ryan Shazier, I doubt he'll ever play football again. <laughs> that was a bad... It's, a, it's amazing that he's walking, Mini Meager. It's, it's, it's a miracle that he's walking. It... I think I think for I think for this uh, for this generation I think for this generation Ryan Shazier will be like the what if guy. What if that never happened to Ryan Shazier? What kind of career could he have had? Kind of kind of per that's the kind of conversation you have. Guys' careers were cut short way too early. Jeremy though saying that oh he's doing a lot of sideline work for the Steelers. He should. I mean, you still stay involved in football. He's still super young. Like, what what, what else are you going to do? I'd be like, hey, get me on the sideline. I got to do this. Like, if it was me, my heart would be crushed. I'd just be like, get me on the sideline. I want to coach. I want to do something. Like, get me involved in the organization. Give me a job. You know, like... All right. Oh, good. He's scouting, doing positional stuff. Excellent. See, because that's the thing, you know, rarely do we. Wow. One of one rookie roll call Cortland Sutton. Not to give a Bronco and a Bronco fan a train whistle. Oh, Steve Freeze. Man, that rules the rule. Cortland Sutton. Guy that's going to probably burn the Raiders secondary at some point. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Cortland Sutton, 101 rookie roll call for Steve Freeze. There, yeah, now you found your new rainbow. You gotta you gotta buy a lot. <laughs> You're welcome, Steve. You gotta buy a lot of these certified boxes. Now you gotta find the out of five, the out of ten, out of twenty-five. What? More Cortland Sutton? Come on. Out of 199, two color patch, freshman fabric and auto, Cortland Sutton. Actually, what is the deal with Cortland Sutton? He's going to be wide receiver three, maybe? I got to pay more attention to football. It's a draft is sneaking up on me. Yeah, I know, right? Kevin Lesser now really wants me to... No, it doesn't mean we can't find a shield, Kevin. There's Des Bryant. Certified gamers to 199. Does he end up on the Browns? Matt Apple will be saying Mason Rule is going to take the job from Roethlisberger. When? Take the job, like, this year? He's going to take the job? Or is Roethlisberger just going to retire and then he's going to inherit the job? Taking the job sounds like... He's going to win the job maybe this year, next. There's Delaney Walker to 25. Oh, outside and wide receiver sets with Sanders in the slot. And yes, Steve, to answer your question from earlier, yes, I am worried that, that the <laughs> the Broncos developing a more than competent offense, which will continually give the defense a rest, and that defense is going to come back with a vengeance. There's Baker Mayfield for Rick T., so, yes, I am worried. This year is not going to be good for the Raiders. I, I think the Raiders have a very bright future. They're on the right track. I think they're making some good decisions, et cetera, et cetera. But I think this year is definitely going to be a bit of a transitional year. 
in my opinion. I mean, they could surprise, but... There's Julio! Throwing around Bruce Smith, Immortals. No one just throws around Bruce Smith. Mike Ditka and Aaron Rodgers. Three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. I have not seen any Lamar Jackson autographs, Ben. What's going to happen to Eli? His contract is going to end. He's going to be a free agent. Nobody. He's probably going to retire. Someone will take Eli Manning. What, nobody wants to take a Hall of Famer? Wow, Matt Appleby says, I give Ben two games, and then Mason Rudolph takes over. It's time for a change in Steel Town. I don't know. He, he won like... Ben Roethlisberger won, won like 10 or 11 games last year. It's not like he's... It's not like he's Eli Manning. <laughs> or even Joe Flacco. I, th I, th I think... I think you gotta you you gotta run Ben Rothsberger until the end of his contract, basically. There's Ronnie Harrison out of 499. This guy's done, huh? There's certified potential Lorenzo Carter for the New York Football Giants. That'll be for Rick T and the Giants. Who won last night? Colts or Oh, was that a live game last? I get so confused now. They there's so many preseason games that replay them at all all hours of the night. I didn't know it was, if it was live or this or that. Jerry Goff. Doesn't matter, though. It's preseason. <laughs> Browns went 4-0 last preseason. Mike White out of 499. Nice three-color relic and autograph for the Cowboys. David Duffy. I actually saw Mike White in action the other night. Ooh, Ellie. There's a hot take. Miles Garrett will put Big Ben out in week one. That'll help. That'll help the uh, Browns get. Help the Browns get to eight. Alex Collins. Oh man, are the Dodgers on national television? They're the ESPN game tonight. Devontae Booker, fourteen out of ninety-nine. I think Josh. Well, who else is going to start in Buffalo? Right, AJ McCarron. Isn't a didn't AJ McCarron get a season-ending injury? Poor AJ McCarron. That's for you, Steve. Um, it's got to be Josh Allen at this point. Who else? Who else is there? <laughs> There's Drew Brees, Calvin Ridley, new generation. He looked pretty good in the last. Oh, oh he's not out for the season. Broken collarbone. That's you're gonna miss like two months, right? Two, three months. By then, that gives Josh Allen a chance to, like, <laughs> take the take over the job. Be hard to take away from... Hard to take away from uh, A.J. McCarron. And, you know, I mean, the coaches will... The coaches will know better <laughs> about the situation than I obviously will, but... But if Josh Allen's ready, you may as well. Oh, McCarron's coming back to practice after a broken collarbone? That's the report I heard, too. That was a broken collarbone. That would be funny, Kevin. Giants trade Eli Manning back to the Chargers for Phillip Rivers. No, Chargers fans love Phillip Rivers. That's not going to happen. 
Do the Bills go to the playoffs? No. No. They were lucky. They were lucky to go there last year. And that's with, you know, LaShawn McCoy, who may or may not be involved in some legal proceedings. And that is with LaShawn McCoy balling out last year and having Tyrod Taylor and absorbing, and they got lucky, and absorbing a game where Nathan Peterman threw like five or six INTs. Uh, Josh Allen's a good a good step for the future, but I don't I don't think playoffs should be on the table for for the Bills. If they do, that means Josh Allen went bananas, <laughs> and their defense really locked down the rest of the AFC and blah blah blah. All right, second to last box, folks. We've got Isaiah Wynn. It's a nice hotel in Vegas. Sam Hubbard. 48 out of 99. Certified potential for the Bengals. That'll be going to Paul Harris. I don't know if many meager saying LaShawn McCoy deserves a better team. I don't know if anyone deserves a better team. He went to the team that he got traded to. <laughs> Just happens. There's Kyle Laletta, freshman fabric. Is that the future? That goes to Rick T and the Giants. There's Carson Wentz. There's Des Bryant, certified gamers to 99. Still Cowboys edition for David Duffy. Jimmy Garoppolo. Matthew Stafford. The terrifying Terrell Davis. And another Cortland Sutton for Steve. 23 out of 299. That'll go to the Broncos. That'll be for Steve Freeze, of course. Sorry, your Cortland Sutton PC. Yeah, I think Des Bryant's going to sign with the Browns, right? All right, good luck, everyone. Last box. Yeah, still no Bears yet, Kevin Lesser. No Chiefs either for TJ. All right, <laughs> yeah. Now, now you can get worried, Stephen K, about the Bills. Just need that Allen RPA. Have we even seen one? I don't. No, I think we have in in one break. I don't know when, but I think it's like Baker Mayfield we haven't seen, and I don't think I've seen. I feel like we've not seen Baker Mayfield. No Lamar Jackson. We've not seen him. What are some of the other big names? I don't think we saw we've seen Saquon Barkley since maybe like one of the first breaks, very 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 early on, and then not even not even a relic of his since then. Yeah, they certainly made it a little bit tougher to find some of the bigger names in certified. I feel like that NT tomorrow will be loaded though. NT collegiate. All right. Good luck, my friends. Here we go. DeAndre Hopkins at a 225. We got Ezekiel Elliott. How do the Cowboys do this season? There's Jerome Baker, and we've got Kalen Balage. Or Balage, I think it's Balage. 41 out of uh, 50. I heard his name on a preseason game. That's why the preseason games are important for me, ladies and gentlemen. Get to learn all the proper pronunciations of these players that I'm not super familiar with. Like Kalen Balaj. 
<laughs> loaded with there has been, I feel like there's a Mike White at least one per case, right? There's Quentin Nelson out of 225. And another Bronco gold this time. One out of 25 certified gamers. That card is gold. I feel like there's a little bit of grass stain right there too. Game used material. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but I think when you get it, Steve, confirm that. It looks like a little uh, turf grass in there, which is really cool. Where are you, Saquon? Where are you, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, etc., etc.? Von Bell, mirror signatures. Out of Fitty, that'll be for Karen and the Saints. And I believe that is your last hit out of here. One, two, th one, two, three, and oh, we have one more. Oh, we have a relic, and a relic only. There's Mason Rudolph, the Red Nose Reindeer, out of three ninety nine. Potential future of the Steelers. Although I'm still rooting for aerospace engineer. Our Joshua Dobbs. So we can see him make some galactic passes. All right, there you go, folks. Joe for Jaspies. Oh, we got to give away money. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our last case. Our last case from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Our last case is certified. So I said I'll give away a little bit of money. A little bit of dollar, dollar bills, y'all. So let's go to... Back to the list. That's right, John Samuelson. We want uh, Brains and Braun in our Joshua Dobbs. Sounds good to me. EA down to LE. And we'll roll the dice and we'll randomize that list. Three and a two. TJ was guessing three. Steve guessing seven. It's a five. Name on top gets the 40 bucks. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, name on top. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Karen with $40 of break credit coming your way. Congrats to you, Karen. Thank you, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. And check out our pre-orders for the new releases tomorrow. A lot of, lot of stuff here. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.